tiny how Welcome club. Let's pimp a hut. So why is this uh, mountain still not ready? Okay, let's take this hut. I made this hut ages ago. Where's the focus? Focus. Focus. I made this hut ages ago. And, uh, yeah, one of my first builds with a Proxon painted it and it's okay. But let's see if I can improve it. I don't like the floor in there, so I'm thinking of putting either some tiles in there, left over from the Aztec build, or some wooden planks. I go for wooden planks. I like it much better. So let's cut up the planks and glue them in place. I do one of the full length and then two divided, so it looks a little bit more interesting. Glooming, PVA, cutting, pinning, glooming, PVA, cutting, pinning, glooming, PVA. Of course, you use wood glue to glue down wood even if it's made from XPS and acrylic paint. I also do not like the roof, so I cover the top part, uh, which is supposed to look like stone. I also cover it in wood. I also cover the roof itself. It's, it looks like bamboo or something like that. And um, I don't like that anymore, but I didn't want to make a new roof, so I'm just covering up what I don't like here. Let it dry overnight. So now that it's dried, can uh, take, take out the pins, pins, put them back in the box, and uh, yeah, it takes some time. I'll cut off the excess. You can only cut it when it's really dry, otherwise it will snap off and you uh, have to glue it back on again. You could use different glues instant glue or hot glue or something. Uh, I like the PVA. It makes me take a break from the build. You can work on something else or you just, yeah, wait. Sometimes it's good for my creative process. Sometimes it's not. The cool thing is with those breaks, you learn to use 15 minute free times to do one step, glue it down and then come back later. Instead of watching YouTube, YouTube videos again, 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 again. again. <laughs> So now I got this frame and I want to put some earth onto the roof, but it will fall through those wooden thingies. So I take this paper, it's packaging paper from, you know, online stores, rip it in part and make some paper mache with the watered down PVA. So this paper, it has this open paper structure. It sucks up the glue and the water. Very nice, perfect for paper mache. I was too lazy to go to the bathroom and get some water. So I just took that. Need something to stir it. And then I fill up this frame with a paper mache. And then I fill it up with some earth and sand and some more stuff and some more water down PVA and it is far too much and it is dripping through and it is a nice mess and I like it. So that has to dry for one or two days. <laughs> I put some static grass up there. I start with a base coat of dyed short dead grass. It's like three millimeter, four millimeter, I don't know. Um, light beige brown so on top of that 
dried grass, I put some short green grass in layers, in some patches longer and some patches shorter. You can stack, steady grass, stack, 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 steady, stack, steady grass. You have to let it dry, one layer, and put some glue on it again, only like dry brushing, glue dry brushing, no. <laughs> and then um, put some more, let it dry, put some more glue, more grass, let it dry. By shaking the axis off, they stand up a little bit better. So it's not a nicely trimmed lawn, it's, it's a wild meadow. Different kinds of grass, different length. Always save it, put it back in the machine and put it on there again. Here are some small twigs and sticks. Cut to size with a scissor, dipped into some PVA and then glued on top. It's like dead bushes or something like that, or thicker grass or some dried out old plants from last winter. The grass is already coming, but the old stuff is still standing there. <clears throat> All those white drips will dry transparent so you cannot see them anymore. In my garden I have those plants um, standing over winter, I just cut them down in spring and they have those nice little white tiny tufts and I put them on there. And if you put some matte varnish over everything, they don't break and they don't lose color because they don't have any color already. And now I take um, 12 millimeter static grass and do this tufts by hand thing in places where I think there's a need for it. A little bit more control than with the applicator. I wanted to add some moss. I pre-mixed foam flock with PVA in this small thing with a wooden stick. A little bigger foam flock mixed with a, bit, a little bit finer in the same color. And then it becoming this nice paste and you can push it and squeeze it into places where you want it to be. And it's already soaked in glue so it will stick and it will be rock hard later. I thought oh, how about a climbing bush maybe? Some roses or something like that. So I dug out that root in the garden. Let's put some PVA on there. Slap it on. some homemade flock from animal bedding it has this leaf character and then uh, there was too much on it you couldn't see the stick anymore and from for roses you sometimes see the not the trunk the, the wood you see the wood and uh, so I had to clean that out again so PVA on the wall and then pin it to the wall. You can shape it a little bit as long as it's still wet. And the pins don't go through the wood, they're just beside it and, and holding it in place. Got three branches and I thought, hey, let's go around the corner of the house. That would be nice. Same method as with the green moss, it's a, a red foam flock pre-mixed to a paste with PVA. And where's the focus man? Focus is gone. Focus, focus. Yeah, just put it on there. As it is soaked with PVA, um, you don't have to carry it with stick. Just put it where you want it to be, let it dry and then it's, it's on there.
So this is how it looks like the day after when it's dry. Roses are nice. Looks cool. Something for the girls. <laughs> I love the moss up there and the old grown. Yeah, I like it. Looks good. I thought, how about a stack of wood, chopped wood, and maybe a block, a chopping block and an axe or something like that. The house is finished, but yeah, there's there's a mini for it. It's, it's not ready painted. It's also like a progress. There will be a chopping block. So let's chop it. Chop everything up. So I take an old knife. It doesn't even have a handle. And a hammer. And then I chop it. It took some time, but it is a nice... Uh, it's meditation. inside and warm with a nice fire going on and a pot standing over the fireplace. So I glue it together with water down PBA. Stack it, put some on it, stack it, on it and then let it dry overnight again. It's wood glue and it's wood so it should <laughs> glue wood. Here is some green stuff. I thought I make an axe. I, I thought I have an axe in my bits box, but I don't. Yeah, and this is not as easy as I thought. Maybe next time I use something like Fimo or Super Sculpey because this stuff is sticky. I even mixed in some Milliput. Saw it somewhere on the on YouTube. It's a mix of green stuff and Milliput because the green stuff itself was so sticky. So this is not as sticky and a little bit more flexible. Uh, yeah, Ooh. it took longer than I thought. For the X, it is okay. And I also tried a big saw, like uh, like you've seen on the lumberjack championships in the 1980s and 90s on TV. <laughs> um, yeah, but that that went totally wrong. Of course, uh, in the end, I don't know why I always put the pigment powder everywhere. On this build, it was not really necessary, but it's my finishing step. <laughs> so I, I guess I have to do it. 